John Webb, aka Gamekeeper John, as I'm sure if you will know. Uh, that's my name. <laughs> Definitely a name yep. in the sport. Everyone's heard of you. Yep, yep. Just yeah, yeah, coming yeah. over to interview now. Everyone's stopping you for photographs. Got yep. to feel a bit good, isn't it? It's okay. It's not bad. <laughs> I think it's because most people say that they've learned from you. I mean, that's yeah, yeah. how they got into the sport, and that's brilliant, to yeah, be honest, yeah. isn't it? To get more people. We have brought in. a load of newbies over, which, which is quite it's all good for the sport. It's brilliant. So, when did you first start shooting a catapult? I was. I remember I've shot one as long as I can remember since I was four or five years old, but only really properly the last six, seven years really got into it big time. Well, I've always had one in my pocket, even in my school bag and stuff when I went to school. I was going to say, because when we were younger it was kind of maybe messing about a bit, having a yeah, laugh, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. bits and pieces, and for a lot of people it was hunting, it was actually hunting, living. Yeah. But when it came to like how it is now, which is the target practice and yeah, the trick yeah. shots and bits and pieces, is that the six years you've been doing? That's when I've been doing it properly. Yeah, the hunting side of things, like you get several hundred people coming to the shoot, there's thousands of hunters out there. It's, yeah. it's a, so many people that don't turn up to the shoots are out doing it. It's, it's getting really big, to be honest. We're getting quite a few people, I notice, moving over from the hunting side to that, which is, yeah. it is quite different, but I suppose they've got the instinct and the instinct of shooting. Yeah, if you're a good hunter, generally, you should be a good target shooter. You shouldn't hunt unless you can shoot good anyway, so yes. the hunters sh should be good at targets, whether they are or not. <laughs> so are you part of a team? Yes, Team Gamekeeper Pro Shop. Team Gamekeeper Pro That's Shop. That's me and Pete Hogan from Pro Shop Catapults, and well, me and we set a team up basically. And whereabouts are you based? We don't really have a base, we're from all over, we've got tutors We've got an from, American as well, We've got you? an American on the team, we've got a German on the team. Uh, Loads of UK lads on the team. So the whole idea of a team, do you actually meet up or is it just a No, we just meet up at the shoots. We have a group chat and we do videos and all that. We've got someone else jumping in. Oh, there's another legend in the field this here. So let, let's get your I'll name. Let him introduce you taught, himself. You taught most people as well. What's your name? Chris Graffin. So these two have probably taught most people and got most of the newbies into catapult well, shooting. Gamekeeper John actually got me into catapult shooting. Oh, did he? Yeah, if it wasn't for Gamekeeper John, I wouldn't have... I, I mightn't be shooting a catapult, I definitely wouldn't have started where, where I did. And I wouldn't be what I am today if I hadn't been for this man. So it's my fault I got second because he's just beat me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh. First and second, then we did that one, right? Yeah. <laughs> so Kept basically. it at home as well because yeah. we had a lot, a lot of talent from abroad. Yeah. Massive talent from abroad. The Italians are yeah. really we, good, aren't we they? Had, uh, we had the Spaniard here who was placed third in the world in Italy wow. last summer. So we've kept so it at home, haven't we? We've we, kept it in we've, the UK. We've, done, we've, we've done held done our own, that's what we've, we've could done. Do. Pride, we've done yeah, well, we've got people today from all over. I mean, obviously, we've got GZK all over from China. We've yeah, got yeah. Uh, Mona from America. Yeah. There's Italians, Czechoslovakian, the whole team's here. Yeah. yeah. Someone from Germany. Yeah. I think there's something there like is 11 countries. Definitely German, yeah. 11, yeah. 11 countries. 11 countries here yeah. today in Cheltenham. Yeah. 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 I don't know how many competitors. A couple hundred, is that? 200. 200, yeah. Wow, that's fantastic. And the kids were doing amazing as well. It was really good to see the kids there. So when you first heard about him, how did it, was that through YouTube? It was through YouTube, I was actually looking up small game hunting, I stumbled across one of this man's greatest videos of all time, one of my favourite YouTube videos of all time. The 10 year old one. The 10 year old one, <laughs> yeah. and at that time I was like looking at primitive trap and then archery bows and stuff and I come across catapults and I seen all the things Gamekeeper John was doing with catapult I was like wow this is amazing, I really want to be able to do this. So I, got, I bought one off him, Gamekeeper Pocket Rocket. Yep. Started trying to shoot instinctive because John shot instinctive at that time. Not very many people aimed. And I couldn't hit a barn door. Nobody aimed that time, did they? I couldn't hit a barn door. I used to shoot wrong handed. I used to hold the catapult in my left hand and draw my right under my good eye. I used to shoot the opposite way because that's the way John shoots. He yeah, set the yeah. catapult that way, so instinctively that's the way I shot it. Oh, so you shot that the wrong way for a shot while? Shot it the wrong you? way for a year. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't, I couldn't hit a biscuit 10 to 8 meters. And I, and I used to think to myself, if I ever was at a stage where I could hit a can 10 times in a row, yeah. easy, I'd be laughing. I think that's what, what we all wanted to start. Yeah. Now, now it in a spin of 20 times in a row is nothing. And now you guys are hitting the raisins off of this. Yeah. Now we're doing things we didn't know was ever possible. At one possible. time, 10 hits in a row on a can, everybody would be like, wow. That was brilliant. mustard. Yeah. Now it's like, everybody can do that easy. Yeah. Oh no, like, but, then, but the thing is, when you're starting, because I'm a relative newbie, still, <laughs> you still get the pleasure from the 10 yeah. hits of a can. Yeah, yeah. It's not like yeah. that isn't part of the progress yeah. going up. You know, yeah. it isn't, yeah. I need to be hitting the polo. There's a lot more is. information out there now as well. Yeah, it's like, easier to we, learn now. Yeah, definitely. when we, when we, John's shooting obviously since he's a small child, but whenever I got into it, there was very, very yeah. limited There was only like one or two YouTube channels. Bill there was, there was no Facebook groups. Bill, no, Bill Hayes had a, 
Bill Hayes had an aiming video, but it wouldn't be the way you would try and teach somebody how to aim because he has a really big long draw. Yeah. It, it just it, it, it suits him. It suits him, but it's a hard thing to learn. Yeah. And you, I tried it the way he done it, and I was no good. But eventually, we we all got there, don't we? Yeah. Well, I've watched basic videos to try and be gay, but I still shoot weird. <laughs> <laughs> it's all, it's all, so as long as you have fun. It's all fun yeah, to the thing, what isn't it? Is, yeah. So what I found about the sport is that people don't want to hold their cards close to their chest; they want to share. Yeah. And yeah. it's a really good thing yeah. on a club. Some people, to, some people want some to people, <laughs> If you go to a local club, it's reasonable to get there. It's a cheap sport to get yeah, into because yeah. someone's going to lend you a catapult. It's a poor man's shooting sport. Yeah, and that's brilliant. So mm. people are really talking about moving this up Thanks. to a league level, country oh, yeah, level, and Olympics. Well, 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 look at this. This, this basically is. Yeah. 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 You know? So if there were leagues and countries, so if we've got England, Ireland, Scotland, Wales to start <laughs> with, having a compete, yeah. do you think you'd be up for that? Love. Oh, definitely, yeah. Because yeah. there's a lot of good shooters over Ireland by you that's not here today, isn't there? Yeah. Well, apart from you. <laughs> a, lot, a lot of lads that can't make the trap, you know. Yeah, and they can shoot. They would have probably done well today as well. Yeah. Right? I think that's what's been good about the teams of notice. People aren't saying, here's our best person, you represent our team. It's like, right, who's up next? And no, it's a genuine team mentality. Yeah. I honestly don't think there is such thing as the best shooter. I think you've got like a group of probably 10 or 15, and on the day, anybody can win it. Yeah. I yeah. don't think there is a best, unless somebody wins everything all the time, which yeah. doesn't have, which, he's, <laughs> which he's close to doing. It's just, it's just you two now, isn't it? <laughs> but I think you've got 10 or 15 top shooters, and on the day, anybody can win it. Yeah, yeah there were, it's amazing, actually, that sometimes the nerves can really get into yeah, it's a bit yeah. like golf you know when people say I'm really good they're a good golfer and then they're just rubbish it's, 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 once you get to a certain skill level it's just about holding your nerves yeah it's no, yeah. you can't get no better once no. you practice with early, can it's you? like it's like the scores we put in today you could beat them easy in your backyard yeah. well we were saying to Chris we thought we shot not bad but it wasn't the best was it no. none of us what were your scores yeah. in the end um, no idea. I, I had 15 hits on the spinner out of 21, and I had on my paper target, I think I had 54. And there's a black circle, and at home I would never ever come out of the black circle. I had one shot out of that. Yeah. yeah. And then I one, had one shot out of the black as well. Yeah. I think I was two points behind you or something overall, five, I don't know. Two. Two points behind you. He, he, he bit me on the paper. And he, and he, and he, he bit me on the spinner. On the spinner. I, I clawed it back. Yeah, so. so have you got any techniques for overcoming that nerve bit when you're there? A and couple of beers. To be fair, I still drunk this morning when I turned up. <laughs> but like, you know that bit where you suddenly. Is it bringing it back to it, it, this I don't is just think it ever fun, goes. or visualising I've been or? competing since 2012 and I stand up there sometimes and still feel the pressure and shoot worse. Yeah. And yeah. You know, you can. it gets better but it never goes. Yeah. And I think you'll say that, so you still get the pressure. It's a big mental game. But there's, yeah. uh, there is certain ways you can look at it and visualise it and try and focus try on and just the off, shot. Yeah. You know, don't be thinking about the last shot or the next shot. Just yeah. this shot you're on. Just focus yeah. on the spinner. Try and block everything else out. But obviously, when you're in there, you've got 200 people watching you. You know that the event means a lot. You want to do well. Yeah. It's hard to block all that out. Yeah. Well, what I try to do is shoot fast. It's probably not the advice I'd give anyone. If I'm like, I just like get, get, it, get it, get it done. Get it done. Well, 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 if you watch the Chinese, and I think the Chinese are the best in the world, yeah. they all shoot fast. Yeah, and that's what I do. Impressive to watch. If you're holding too long, Excuse you're me. thinking about it too much. Yeah, yeah. that's what I. I don't like taking my time and looking and Stan is just get them, I, done, I, get them done it is what it is I seen him winning a 15 metre in Solihull one year I can't remember what year it was but he flew through his knockdowns yeah. and he smashed them all down and he, he got a really really high score much higher than I shoot much better when I'm faster yeah. Well, I'd, advise watch, any, I'd advise anybody else to take the time. But you you, you I, take your time fast, when you're yeah. learning, but you can then pick up the shoot pace fast. Yeah. Hunting, I have to shoot fast. I can't even stop and think about it. It's just yeah, instinct, do it, instinct yeah. doing that. But on there, I'm trying to hold a bit longer. But I think yeah, that's you, to try and take a your breath. Natural routine. And yeah. then take a breath out when I'm doing it. See, I think you recommended like yeah, breathing, yeah, breathing yeah, on your breathing video. Is really yeah. Important, yeah. Yeah. Yes. So I've been concentrating on that, and it does really help. You forget to breathe, do you? And it will affect you. But me and John have come away from hunting a lot too because you yeah. have a hunting mentality and you're just hunting yeah. there's certain things that you're doing when you're hunting that don't really favour target yeah. shooting yeah. and you're shooting heavier bands you, you, you can't practice when you're hunting setup as much as you'd want to because yeah. it's heavier smash and yeah. Yeah. You smash everything <laughs> yeah. to bits so yeah. since, since and you I, can't hold it from one team no, no, until no, your exactly. arm going exactly so we'd like light bands and just enjoy it yeah. shoot so now it really feels like it is going to target practice target practice and trick shots yeah, you know, yeah. that does feel like it's going that yeah, way yeah I think that's what it is Yeah, I think it's going to well who knows where we could be in the next year or two. Well, hopefully, if we could all somehow get some funding, we're off to China in November. 
Yeah. <laughs> I don't music. like playing, so. Oh, don't you? <laughs> no, if, you if you start walking now, <laughs> we'll see you there. Yeah. <laughs> so, brilliant. So, you're first, you're second today. Yeah. Congratulations. There's another event left. So. Oh, there is another one left. And we've kept it in the UK, that's the main thing. The, tit the titles aren't going anywhere. Fantastic. Congratulations, <laughs> and thank you so much uh, for talking. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Cheers. Thank Cheers. You. Oh, Thank you.